All right, I wanted to show you what I did to round this over a little bit. Um, nothing is done in any, in any way uniform. Uh, it's just, I wouldn't say sculpting, but uh, just running it through randomly to, to put different edges on it. Uh, I don't want any part of this to look like, I don't want this to look like a quarter inch round over bit just ran across it. Uh, I want it to have some texture to it. Just make it look different, you know? I'm trying to use up some scraps anyway. But I'm going to run it through real quick and show you what I did. Nothing fancy or uniform, just trying to give it some different some different dips and valleys and I don't know, make it look a little bit unique. I've got the strips in place and I've got the side pieces in place. Just a couple pocket hole screws on either side, the verticals. I lined everything up on the top piece and now I'm just going to run it through to trim up all my bottoms real quick. Alright, here's the back side. I went ahead and screwed on with four pocket hole screws the top and also the bottom while it was on its uh, while it was laying on its front. I went ahead and put two of these sawtooth uh, photo hangers uh, just evenly spaced left and right and then evenly spaced on top. Doesn't really matter. But that is the extent of the building. I'm um, just using up some scraps like I said. Uh, I think it'll look alright. Got a lot of beat up looking round over. I found another knot in that 2 by material so I put that up front. Also put this one up front on the top piece and of course the ply has a big knot right here so um, it's going to contrast I think pretty much evenly throughout. I'm going to throw some stain on here real quick and uh, as soon as it dries I'll drill some small holes for the eye hooks and uh, we'll be ready to throw some twine on this. Alright so I've got my frame uh, already stained, already sealed with a couple coats of lacquer and I just put these these eye screws in here and what I did is basically I came down about three quarters of an inch and then spaced them out every five inches and that worked out to be perfect 
for my overall height. Um, did that on both sides. And what I'm going to do from here is loop a piece of twine through this direction, pull both strands this way, twist it up real tight, tie it off, and cut it. And then I'm going to do the middle one the opposite direction, twist it up tight, real tight, cut it, and then top one back this direction. Um, once that's all done, you just set your clips in wherever you want to have them. A um, little handy note here, I've got my clips off the, my little spraying jig, and as soon as I took them off, um, I filled it back up with some more clips and some more eye screws, and I went ahead and sprayed them. Um, this is a neat little project for a gift, and there's no, no telling how many of these I'm going to be building. Um, this is my third one to build, so I know I'm going to be doing another one. It's good to have the paint uh, sitting and curing as long as it can before I start using them. Um, when you go to screw these in by hand, if the hole is too tight and the paint is not completely cured, your fingers will actually just smudge the rest of the paint off. Uh, I smudged off a couple of these after sitting for a full day, so I guess I put too much paint on it. Um, but in this case, these worked out really well. Uh, I'm going to get this done real quick and show you the final product. Here is the final product. Uh, it's just, like I said, eye screws, some twine, and some little binder clips. Um, looks alright, you know, it's going to be a little picture frame collage, uh, which seems to be in style. Now everyone's got a little collage kind of picture frame deal. So, um, next to nothing to make one, nothing but scraps and a little bit of hardware. So, uh, make one for a gift, give it to somebody. These things, uh, a lot of people seem to like these, so that's what this is. It's a gift. Hopefully you can make one next to nothing involved. So real quick, real easy, something you can do.